again, John Wilde here to give you another look at vintage action figures. And this time we're going to conclude our look at the Mighty Crusaders by looking at the bad guys. They were created by Remco Toys in 1985. In my previous episode, I reviewed the good guys in this toy line. The Shield, the Fox, the Web, and the Comet. In this video, I will look at the bad guys in this legendary toy line. Let's begin with the review of Mighty Crusaders, Volume 2, Issue Number 11. This is a look at the cover of Mighty Crusaders, Number 11. The issue begins with the nephew of the Black Hood being informed of his uncle's murder. He vows revenge and dons his uncle's costume. But secretly, the newly formed Riot Squad have implanted a tracking device in the costume. Tracking the new Black Hood to the Mighty Crusader secret HQ, they attack, and with the Brain Emperor's help, they defeat the Mighty Crusaders. But the Darkling had escaped, and recruits the Fox and the Comet to aid in the rescue of her teammates. Using his power, the Comet teleports the Fox and Darkling to the Riot Squad, who has taken over the Comet's ship. They attack and free the Mighty Crusaders. The issue concludes with the Comet spiriting the Mighty Crusaders off his ship, which he then uses to defeat the Riot Squad by exploding it. This was the first and only comic book appearance of the Buzzard and the Sting. The Buzzard and the Sting were created for the Remco toy line. They were added to this issue to push the toy line. Now, let's get a look at each figure on card. Starting out looking at the front of the cards, we see a difference between the good guy carded figure and the bad guy carded figure. First things first, the name of the figure in for the good guys is in blue, and the name of the figure in the bad guys series is in a red, um, and it says the evil over the top of them. Also, on the good guys card, it says the world's mightiest heroes, and on the bad guys card, it says the bad guys. The card backs are identical on the good guys and the bad guy cards. The first bad guy we're going to be looking at is the Sting, and here's his power data. The Sting, real name unknown, although it's actually Gordon Sumner. His species is unknown. A victim of a DNA experiment gone wrong, the Sting is half human, half insect. He has retractable claws capable of releasing a highly toxic venom for which there is no known cure. The Sting was created by Remco Toys for the Mighty Crusaders action figure line and only appeared in one comic book to date, Mighty Crusaders Volume 2, Number 11, from March of 1985. The Sting's bodysuit gives him flight ability. His DNA experiment gone wrong left his touch to be deadly. He is an original member of the first Riot Squad and is apparently killed in his first meeting with the Mighty Crusaders. The Sting also uses his toxic venom to murder the Mighty Crusader's friend, Dr. Malcolm Reeves, and most likely used his power to also kill the original Black Hood, Matt Burland. The Sting has a very unique head sculpt and kind of reminds me of Remco's other toy, the Skull Man. Getting a look at the Sting's chest, we see that there's painted detail to show off segmentation of an insect. He also has wings on his back. Getting a look at the Sting's lower legs, we see sculpted details on the ankles. The legs are cast in yellow plastic. Let's get a good overall look of the figure. The Sting came with two accessories. He came with a pistol and he came with a belt and a holster. Here's a good look at the secret sonic signaling shield for the Sting. Let's get a good overall look at the figure on card. The next bad guy we're going to be looking at is the Buzzard, and here's his power data. The Buzzard, real name, Malcolm P. Bird, occupation, ex-hunter and sportsman. The Buzzard is equipped with a specialized flight cloak, giving him mastery over the air. He is also equipped with razor sharp talions. Little is known of the origin of the Buzzard. His first and only appearance is in issue number 11 of Mighty Crusaders in March of 1985. He was created by Remco Toys for the action figure line. He is an original member of the Riot Squad. Getting a closer look at the Buzzard figure, we see that he is helmeted, and I'll show you a picture of what he looks like without his helmet on. Moving down the figure, we see he has on a red cape, 
He has a blue accent painted onto the top of his chest. His arms are cast in a yellow plastic with white and blue accents. The buzzard has unique leg sculpts showing off his talons on his feet. The buzzard's accessories include a gun and a shoulder holster. Here's a good look at the buzzard's secret sonic signaling shield. Let's get a good overall look at the figure. Now, let's get a good overall look at the figure on card. The next bad guy we're going to be looking at is the Eraser, and here is his power data. The Eraser, real name, unknown. Occupation, professional hitman and super assassin. Using his energy suit, the Eraser is capable of erasing objects, making them vanish from this world, sending them into an alternate limbo dimension. The Eraser first appeared in Mighty Crusaders number one in November of 1965. The Eraser is a criminal scientist who created a beam that could teleport his victims into another dimension. He became a masked hitman and was hired by mobsters to rub out the original shield, which he succeeded in doing by turning him into a living statue. But the son of the first shield dons his father's costume and defeats the Eraser, turning his own beam against him. The Eraser was transported into another dimension until decades later, he returned, but his memory was gone. The Brain Emperor used his powers to restore his memory, and then he became a founding member of the Riot Squad. Using his new dimensional transporters and his gloves, the Eraser fights the Mighty Crusaders and is apparently killed in an explosion on the comic ship with the rest of the Riot Squad. Getting a good look at the head sculpt of the Eraser, he really is kind of a goofy looking figure, especially with that smile. He has blue eyes and white shiny teeth. Moving down the figure, we see he has an accessory, which is a bandolier with his Eraser beam in the middle of his chest. His arms are cast in green plastic and have yellow accents. Flesh tone is painted on his hands. Looking at the bottom half of the eraser, we see he has legs that are cast in green plastic with yellow boot accents. Let's get a good overall look at the figure. The accessory that came with the eraser is a laser gun with attached shoulder strap. Here's a good look at the secret sonic signaling shield for the eraser. Let's get a good overall look at this figure on card. Let's get a good look at our final bad guy, the Brain Emperor. And here's his power data. Brain Emperor, real name, unknown, species, mutant. The Brain Emperor's mind grants him amazing psychic abilities, such as telepathy, hypnosis, teleportation, amphanic projections, and psychokinesis. The Brain Emperor's first appearance was in Mighty Crusaders number one in November of 1965. The Brain Emperor is originally from the planet Kei Shazor, and after having his brain modified, he conquered his world. A revolt found him overthrown, and he fled to Earth to find a new world to conquer. The newly formed Mighty Crusaders stopped his efforts, and the Brain Emperor found that teaming up with other supervillains may lead to his eventual victory. Joining the Riot Squad, he came very close to his goal of defeating the Mighty Crusaders. The Brain Emperor was created by Superman creator, Jerry Siegel. Getting a look at the head sculpt of the Brain Emperor, you see he's got a pink translucent piece on the top of his head. Looking down at this translucent piece, we can see that there's a sculpted brain underneath it. The rest of the head sculpt is kind of unique. He's kind of got dark eyebrows, he's kind of got glaring eyes, and again, he's got nice white teeth. Moving down the figure, we see his chest is cast in silver plastic, and he's wearing a red cape. His arms are bare, and he has yellow armbands on. Covering the midsection of the figure is, well, a skirt, I guess. No, it's kind of like a Roman style bottom dress piece. I, I don't even know what they're called, but that's what it represents. Getting a look at the legs of the Brain Emperor, we see they're bare, and he's got yellow boots on.
Taking a look at the Brain Emperor's accessories, we see he has a pistol and a holster. <clears throat> Taking a look at the accessories of the Brain Emperor, let's get a good overall look at the figure. Taking a look at the accessories of the Brain Emperor, we see that he has a pistol and he has a belt and a holster. And he also has this kind of pistol ray gun type of thing. Here's a good look at the Brain Emperor's secret sonic signaling shield. And finally, a good look at the figure on card. The bad guy selection from Remco's Mighty Crusaders toy line are an impressive lot of characters. Although only two characters, the Brain Emperor and the Eraser, actually appeared in the comics before the toy line's release, I'm impressed with their inclusion in this group. The Sting and the Buzzard may possibly be the best looking of all the figures in the Mighty Crusaders toy line. Goofy looking as the Brain Emperor and the Eraser look, the Sting and the Buzzard really make up for this. The tie-in comic book story in Mighty Crusaders number 11 and the creation of the Riot Squad really flesh out these bad guy characters. This is a nice grouping of bad guys to challenge the Mighty Crusaders. Getting a set of these bad guys on card really isn't all that hard. Although, the Sting and the Buzzard did seem to be a little bit harder to find than the Brain Emperor or the Eraser. The Mighty Crusaders, both the good guys and the bad guys, was a fun toy line to collect. Really, because there was only eight of them, it wasn't that hard to do. And, looking at these figures on card, I really do enjoy the colorfulness of them. Each of these figures are very unique characters. The Sting is an insect guy. The Eraser is kind of a chubby eraser guy. The Brain Emperor has a brain in his head. And the Evil Buzzard is kind of like the Vulture. But they're all really cool. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, will the bad guys defeat the Mighty Crusaders? Oh, for flip's sakes.